Zer's back for week 26 of Destiny 2, and we're going to find out what he has this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, Zer is located on Nessus by the Watcher's Grave. I'm going to mark him, and we're going to see what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Cold Heart. It is an exotic trace rifle. In terms of perk on this, is Cold Fusion, which this weapon shoots a steady Cold Fusion-powered laser. Then we have Extended Barrel, Enhanced Battery, uh, Longest Winner, which Cold Heart's laser does exponentially more damage the longer it remains on the target and then we have hand laid stock and like always all exotics come with a weapon attack mod of five if you guys don't have this go ahead and grab this definitely one of the top tier uh, exotics for PvP uh, I'm sorry for PvE uh, has been since it came out since destiny 2 so by all means go ahead and grab it I'm probably gonna read this a 1.52 tier 2 in PvE and in PvP, it's really not that good. It's decent, but it's probably more likely going to get a 2.5 in PvP. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Dragon Shadow for the Hunter. This comes with one mobility and uh, three resilience. In terms of perk on this is Wraith Metal Mail, which grants increased movement and weapon handling speed for a short time after dodging. Then we have uh, Plasteel Reinforcement Mod. Restorative mod as well as Void Paragon mod. Now this is an okay exotic for a hunter, but there are better exotics out there for PvE as well as PvP. I feel that the hunter's exotics that are specific to a subclass outweigh this tremendously, so I'm probably gonna give this at least a 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP because there are better exotics out there. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Hollow Fire Heart for the Titan, and this comes with two mobility as well as two resilience. Transit perk on this is Sunfire Furnace, which greatly improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities while Hammer of Soul is charged. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Solar Impact Mod. Now this is definitely one of the better exotics out there for your uh, little Hammer Titan. So if you guys don't have this, go ahead, grab it. It's probably a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Uh, so yeah, if you guys don't have it, go ahead. Uh, like I said, grab it. Definitely a good exotic to have. And last but not least, the final exotic is the Nezarek Sin for the Warlock. And this comes with 1 Mobility, Resilience, and Recovery. And transit perk on this is Abysmal Extractors, which Void Damage kills increased Ability Energy, Recharge Rate, as well as we have Mobility Enhancement Mod. Restorative mod and energy bracket mod. I probably would change that energy bracket mod to something else, um, but hey. So, this exotic is definitely a top tier exotic for the Warlock class. I probably would rate it my number two pick just for it's an actual good universal exotic because you do not have to be on a Void Walker Warlock to use this, you just would need Void Weapons. Or weapons that do void damage in order to get the effect off now if you're on your void walker class yes it does benefit a little bit more but you just need void weapons in order to get this um to actually work so like i said definitely top tier uh most likely probably a tier 1.5 to tier 2 in pve as well as pvp so if you guys don't have this go ahead and grab it Next, for the consumables, we have your Three of Coins, which if you buy this, you pop it, lasts for four hours, gives you a chance to get an exotic. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, and we are on my Titan. So let's see what we actually get this uh, wonderful week. But prior to that, let's go ahead and buy the Hollow Fire Heart, just in case, because we do not want the Faded Engram to give us one of those. And this week for our Faded Engram, we get the Prosecutor. So, I already have the Prosecutor, like, all together on my accounts. So, I finally hit the very last 
exotic that I needed for any character in the game. Hall of Fire Heart was probably the last exotic I needed for my Titan. And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.